What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Eddie D. Welcome back to the channel. You are watching the third episode of season one of Grey's Anatomy today. Um, so far, this show has been super quirky as hell. Um, but again, show's 18 years old, so it should be expected. Um, uh, it's, it's a good show so far, I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm, I'm hella intrigued by everything that's going on. Um, within it so far and so I'm excited to see how it continues to um to, to play itself out Meredith is smart as hell quirky as hell and can't seem to get out of her own way um Christine is getting on my nerves she got one more time to talk about how she done got all these PhDs um before I want to knock in the face George you know is such a sap like he doesn't realize that dude your people are gonna die like that this is a hospital um, accept your fate um, um, Izzy, I don't really know much about what's going on with her just yet. Um, uh, Dr. Doom is really Dr. Doom. Um, Dr. Um, McDreamy, um, is what you would expect, I guess. Um, I like how Meredith and him, um, he, um he, Meredith and Derek, how their relationship is playing itself off. Like, there's this kind of, like... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, transparent hesitance, I'm going to call it, um, between the two of them where it's like they, they both like each other. Um, and McDreamy is just waiting on, um, her to be like, you know, to, to finally just let loose and let, let, let it happen. Um, um, and then you're also seeing the politics of the higher ups in terms of like, you know, wanting to um you know become the next chief of surgery and all that kind of stuff so it's interesting to see how these things are starting to materialize um all the while watching them go about their typical um you know day in the life of um of interning and stuff so um so i'm excited to see what's going to happen like this video share this video subscribe to the channel thank you all to my subscribers um for subscribing to the page um, thus far, I um, hope you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out. Um, without further ado, let's get it. Who's bigger than mine? Seriously? <sighs> After a while, I have more clothes. I should. Meredith, you want some privacy? No shit. <laughs> Number three. Don't make friends with you. Something is happening today. I know I should know what it is, but I just can't. Who does she remind me of? All right, nice talking with you, Dr. Bailey. It's right in front of my face. Messengers racing against traffic, trying to beat each other for free shot of tequila. Oh, no, no, That's it. Competition sounds like fun. Ready with me, The race doesn't even have any rules, except eye gouging. No eye gouging. Like, we'll be trapped in the pit, bandaging up idiots when we could be up in the OR. What kind of people? Here we go again. Oh my God! Shut up! Rip out the eyeballs of another human being, Georgie. Man. I need someone to get up to the OR floor. The chief needs a right hand. Oh, and yeah. I mean that they changed that theme song. That's not working for me. Oh my lord! He gonna come back. Oh, oh, I'm dying. Oh, I'm dying. People's fixed and dilated after being given for a pulse in the 40s. BB1 item and head CT reveals cerebral edema. It's gotten some yeah, what? mental, dexamet, cell 10, and a phenotype. What? Can you do the OR? Hmm? Is he forked? Looks like it. The bike race claims his first victim. Dang. I'll make my triple M repair after all. <laughs> hey. Mr. Mackey. <laughs> No smoking! Yes. There's what do you no mean I can't smoke in here? Oh, oh my god, you're in a hospital. And? Your point being, What's your point? I can do what I want. I don't know if you listen to the... You know how old I am? Lately, in, uh, 25 years old. Years, but smoking is bad. Smoking will kill you. Dead, fool! 
God, dog! Why do I know? Sir, Dr. Bailey sent me to... Look, you really have to let me take you for some tests. When a CT, you could have internal bleeding. No, thank you. I've got a race to get back to it. You do have internal well, bleeding. You need to listen to her because she know everything. Come on, now. I'm trying to tell you something. You want to make me that? Yes. One test. A CT. I'll have you out of here in an hour. Whoa! I mean, yeah. Good luck. Don't worry, darling. You'll see me again. <laughs> Damn. Sake, I hope not. <laughs> she don't know what to think. She was like, I kind of like that. Oh. What do you want? Do you make out with patients now? <laughs> Were you jealous? Yes. I don't get jealous. Find the family. Then get consent. We can harvest the organs. If you find. Oh, Christine! She wants so badly to cut somebody open. Lord. There's this VIP patient. He like. I can feel it. So I think it'd be really great if you could do me a favor. Solid. Wake up. Get better. Just before they slice you open. Live. So you think you could give that a shot for me? Ooh. That's debatable. Anything to help him live. It's not our place to make that call. Here you go. He's a person. You. We're doctors. You, so you we get the same right too. To make that call. We can't just stand here and do nothing while he dies. He has a right to the next 27 minutes. Here they go. Screw it. I'll get the dopamine. You get the blood. We'll transfuse them. Ooh, this show is annoying me. Do you feel any pain here? No. Because I'm enjoying the view. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta go. I think you messing with him. <laughs> Yep. Save me. I did him. I made a mistake. You do enjoy crossing the line, don't you? Yep. He is an excellent candidate for organ donation. Sending him straight to hell. What an express train. It works. What are you doing? Nothing. Good. Should. Bunch of babies. Police call. They've identified your John Doe. His wife is on the way. Oh! Oh, they got a. He's got a wife. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry. That was a beautiful moment right there. Damn. I'm not going to cry. You do not know this show is not going to do it to me. You, you get back in my eyeballs. It's a small open heart surgery. Well, shut up. I'm it's awesome. Arrogant. It is awesome. You have to smell me. Mm -hmm. I don't want to smell you. Oh, yes, you do. You are got to be kidding me. Okay. I have more important things. Beat you to a pulp with a tiny infection like this. <laughs> <laughs> and use a coaster. I ordered Chinese food. I hate Chinese food. No, you don't. Me 
<laughs> Why are you playing, Noah? Just, just I, I'm starting to like him a little bit. <laughs> this is tough. Woo! The whole wife and kid. What about his skin? God damn! Can you just say yes to all? It's used to help burn victims. That's tough. That is tough. You couldn't have found a different what way to you? ask? I'm not a people person. No kidding. I, you know, I can't do that. I can't talk to the families of patients. Sorry. What's the point of being a doctor? Who? The patient. What's his name? Kevin Davidson. Remember that. Not Gork Guy, not John Doe. Kevin Davidson. He's someone's husband. Someone's son. Not a collection of body parts for you to harvest. A person. Well, no one said this was easy. How about I take you and my new liver out for a night on the town? What do you say? No, I'm sorry. I It's very awkward. <laughs> very awkward fit. Why? Like I said, I'm a surgeon. I save lives. This ends well. Shamana, Shamana, Shamana. That man up the op. Oh, I mean. Meredith for the win again. Izzy, I'm going to sew him up for his family. Now get on over here. Mrs. Davidson. Everybody goes. It's not the chase. What? I'm still not going out with you. You say that now. You like being chased. It's called spade a spade. How'd it go? Uh, the pretty ones always come for <laughs> This is the one where my mother literally pulls his face off. Yeah. So, um, good episode, good episode. Um, it's clear, you know, the sharks are all in the water. Um, and there's a lot of development that needs to happen with all of them. Um, like Christina wants so badly for, you know, to, to just be this master surgeon, but there's still a lot of humanity that she has to learn to work on and work through when it comes to actually talking to people and getting to, um, and, and really, you know, showing some goddamn compassion. Um, she's very matter of fact and doesn't really have a, a heart for people. I'm not going to say she doesn't have a, she doesn't have a heart. She has a heart, but she doesn't have a heart for people. Um, yet, um, Meredith is still Meredith. Know it all smart, but not, she's not a know it all like from an arrogant standpoint, the girl's just really, really smart and intuitive and hell, people need to listen to her because apparently she knows everything and when she's trying to tell you something, you need to not doubt her, you know, skills. Um, 
Um, I still don't have Dr. Doom's name just yet, but I'm getting there. Um, I got Dr. Burke now. I got that, got that feeling like I got that cemented in. Um, um, what, what else did I see in this one to, uh, that, um, Isabel's character, Izzy's character is really hard for me to read. I'm not quite sure what she's, what, what her, what her, what her aim is. She's a, she's a kind hearted person is all I can really get from her. Like she's, I, she, I know it, it feels like she's trying to prove that she's more than what she is, but at the same time, I'm not getting the, I'm not getting that out of her. Like she just seems like she's just really cool, I guess. I don't know. Um, George, um, st he has still, you know, wearing his heart on his sleeve. Um, so that just is what it is. And then we're going to see what happens with that. Um, Dr. Um, Dr. McDreamy is still Dr. McDreamy. Um, and I like that he did answer the question that, you know, that it's not, a, that's not a game for him. Um, but it does seem like it's a game for her, even though she's not playing a game either. Her whole thing is, you know, just trying to figure out this whole boundary thing um, and trying to make sure that she still has a career um, at the same time. And so, um, you know, whenever they do decide to try to play this thing out, it's going to be interesting to see how it all unfolds because, you know, even if, if y'all are paying attention to the news now, um, you know, crossing lines has consequences um, when it comes to relationships and stuff like that. So... Um, so yeah, so that's, again, just going to be interesting to see how it all unfolds moving forward. Um, I still need to get the Nazi's name, so I, I saw, so I, I don't know her name yet. Um, and what I said I'm going to do is the next time I watch this, the next time I'm online, I'm going to learn all of the characters so that way I can say all their names. Because I do not like the fact that I don't know these folk, um, that I am, you know, vested in. Can't believe I'm saying it. Um... But no, nah, good episode. Um, as usual, just going to continue to ride it out and see how it all unfolds. And, you know, um, typical Dr. Chef. That's the one thing I will say. I said it earlier and I'm going to say it again. I like the realism that I'm seeing. I know it will get outrageous as the seasons roll on for ratings and all that. But I can appreciate the realism of the show. Like, this isn't like House where every just about every episode, you're figuring out some miracle that's going to save the day in the 11th hour. Um, this is really a typical day life in the hospital. And there's a lot of death that happens in the hospitals as well as, you know, lives saved, babies born, that sort of thing. And so it's good to me to feel, to see the realism of it. Um, and you're really just watching these interns as they grow and mature, um, as they're becoming, you know, the doctors that they hope to aspire to be. So yeah, now this is really good and, and, and we'll see how it continues to, um, play itself out. Um, like this video, share this video, subscribe to the page. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. And as always, if you can't see the good, be the good. I love you guys. Take, take it easy. Peace out, homies.